Well, we're moving along on this project. It's uh, still freezing cold outside, so we ain't doing much in the backyard. But uh, we've taken the foot plate out of the bulkhead, cleaned it up, painted it gray, got it fitted in, painted the rad supports. Uh, we've made a couple of doodads there over the pedals. Uh, there's a guy online that has quite a few helpful videos on these cars and uh, he suggested making these tapered hats for the uh, pedals so that you can put the rubber boot uh, down over the pedals. It'll help to stretch them wide enough to get down over the pedals. So we're going to try that. We also uh, managed to dig out the, the grill shell and get it fitted in place along with the false nose. So makes it look a little bit more like a car. I'm going to try to put this emergency brake or parking brake assembly in place today. Cleaned up the little swivels the cables connect to. Got them fastened in. This thing rides in two brackets that bolt to the inside of the frame rail. So we'll try to get them in there without too much aggro. It just rides in two bushings there, and then there's another set of bolts and a stop that go right here. That's basically how it works. It's got a tooth there. When you pull on the cable, pulls the cables here, locks that in. Tension keeps the ratchet locked in. When you want to take it off, you just bump the throttle and away it goes. So we started tinkering around a little bit with the dashboard. We've already taken some of the gauges out 
key switch, the light switch, the oil pressure gauge, the starter cable goes here, the choke cable here. It's a warning light, tell you the engine's not uh, generating enough. And um, slow idle control goes over here, a couple of switches. But uh, this is a laminate, walnut laminate on this piece of wood, so we're going to have to pry that off of there and get a new piece of walnut laminate. Uh, see if we can clean this dash up a little bit. Got a little bit pried off over here. Um, took the key switch and took it out, took it apart. Took the number off the face of the key switch here and uh, managed to find an original key. So we got that to work. And then that also controls the lights. So I think we can save that uh, key switch. Uh, should be good. We've got these map lights and uh, I'm having a little trouble figuring out how these work because they only have one wire on them. So I don't know. Woods are not a very good conductor of electricity. So I'm not real sure how this light screwed to this piece of wood with one wire in the middle works, but I think uh, whenever we put it back together we'll have to uh, run a ground wire to the back of this bracket. Uh, managed to take some steel wool and clean up this housing and uh, all you do is turn that to turn it off and on and there's a little spring in here and it pops the contact up against the bulb. Those springs wear out over time. I think we can get a couple of new springs and put in there and make that light like spiffy brand new. The um, warning lights are pretty bad shape, pretty badly corroded. I don't think we're going to be able to save them, but uh, found this other light that's pretty similar, fits in the hole, should do the trick, and uh, we'll replace those and get those to work. We sat around today and worked on this dash a little bit stripped all the existing veneer off of it got it all down to just plain wood and uh, now we'll have to get our sander out and sand this down smooth got a new piece of walnut veneer coming and we'll lay it on there see if we can't make this dash uh, look like new well we got to wait about 15 20 minutes for the glue to flash off. We've done that. We'll see if we can stick these pieces together. Didn't quite hit our lines, but we've got enough overlap that we're okay. We've got her stuck on there. Put some weight on there and uh, let that sit overnight or as long as we can. Well, we got the dash cleaned up a little bit, put some uh, dark stain on it, and uh, put the center panel in just to see uh, 
how it's all going to look. I think it'll be okay. I think we'll uh, probably put a coat of clear polyurethane over that uh, stain just to protect it. Maybe give it a little glossy finish. But uh, I think that's going to work out just fine. We've got a can of clear gloss polyurethane. So we're going to try to coat this veneer that we stained dark walnut and see how that comes out. Yeah, good thing I didn't buy a bigger brush, it wouldn't fit in the can. We'll brush a coat on here, let it dry, maybe uh, scuff it down with some real fine sandpaper, and uh, maybe put a second coat on. A lot of work for a little piece of wood. Well, it's nice and shiny anyway. We'll uh, have to let it sit overnight. See what it looks like tomorrow. This is going to be exposed to the elements mostly, so I suspect two or three coats of this clear urethane on there will be in order. <laughs> 